Well, have you ever been out on a hike and you didn't expect to get lost or stuck in a snowstorm, but you did? Do you have an emergency sleeping bag? I'm telling you, here in Colorado, I hear stories all the time from search and rescue team members about hunters and hikers who go out for the day and they think it's gonna be great and all of a sudden a snowstorm hits or they get lost and they can't find their way back and they're stuck for the night. And when it's cold and you're stuck there for the night, you wanna be able to have an emergency sleeping bag. But you can use a sleeping bag for more than just hiking and being stuck in the mountains. How many times do you hear of people who get stuck in blizzards, massive snowstorms, and those snowplows aren't getting to them for hours and maybe a day, and you're stuck in your vehicle somewhere and you can't move. You may not even have any water. You may have a limited amount of clothing as far as you may. You may not even have brought a coat. A lot of people do that. But if you have this emergency sleeping bag, now you can get in the back of your truck or your car and you can start trapping your body heat in it traps up to 95 percent of your body heat and i'm telling you what it may not keep you super warm but it may keep you from dying or losing fingers and toes well what i want to do right now is i'm going to show you what it's like to get in one of these bags how big is it is it really tight is it big enough for somebody like myself i'm going to show you that real quick but wait till the end and i'm going to tell you about a few other devices you're going to want to have in your backpack when you go out on an outdoor adventure okay let's see just how easy this is for me to get inside. Is it big enough? I will just say, you're not gonna be in a tent when you're using this. So I would recommend getting someplace where there's not as much snow, maybe under a tree and other things too. Like right now I have ice trekkers on. Probably don't wanna have these ice trekkers on inside of this bag. It'll rip it, I'm sure. The thing is you really wanna keep as much snow out of this as possible because it will get wet in here with the, just the snow from the boots. Okay, I'm about 5'11", 6 foot, maybe six, at least 6 foot when I have my boots on. So this thing right now is probably about 7 feet long. I'll have some information in the description and on the screen about the specifications on this. But you can see right here, it easily gets up over my shoulders. And I'm, I don't even have the hood part on, which in a real emergency I would. Just before I tell you that, always make sure that you have... Well, there's the case that came in, the, the emergency sleeping bag. But I would always make sure you have a satellite communicator. This is a Garmin InReach Mini 2. It could save your life. So while you've contacted Search and Rescue and you're sitting out here waiting to get help, or you're waiting for the sun to rise so you can see where you're at and maybe hike out, well, you can wrap this thing around your head. And as you can see here, you can fully enclose yourself in this bag. The thing is, you're not gonna have a really incredible night's sleep, but maybe you'll live, or maybe you won't lose toes and fingers. There's too many people that come out to the mountains and they think they're just gonna have a wonderful day and nothing bad is ever gonna happen. But all the stories I hear from search and rescue team members, that is not the case. Be prepared, always have a backpack, always have the right clothing on, always have some emergency supplies. Have a bag like this, have an emergency lighter. Make sure you have a satellite communicator. And I would always take a few more layers of clothes than you think you might need. Well, as you can see, this bag is plenty big enough for me. Again, it's not gonna be a nice toast the evening sleeping out in something like this but at least you may survive well one of the other things you should really have with you is an emergency lighting kit now i say a lighting kit because there are some that will light even in wet weather in rain and you could have a lighter but you could also have waterproof matches so always make sure you have something like that and you could have a fire starter and maybe even something like some paper or something that will help light the fire you really want to be prepared to stay the night somewhere in the mountains i know nobody wants to think about that but you really should consider it you should also consider knowing how to light a fire in difficult conditions when it's wet and when there's snow how to create a little snow cave how to keep some warmth around you so not only are you in a bag like this but you have parts of the environment and the material around you that can help you well check out this next video on track back with the garmin inreach mini 2 it'll get you back to your starting point and to safety if you get lost thanks for joining me here on hiking emergency beacon and i'll see you back out here in the next video